Hi, I'm Brad Coston and I'm here today to present a series of videos on how, with your help, we can repair or at the very least slow down the erosion issues facing our rural properties in Mansfield. Erosion such as exposed soils, track and small gully erosion. We'll find out why they occur and some of the simple and relatively cheap techniques to stop erosion in its tracks. Physical and chemical characteristics of the soils found in the Mansfield Shire unfortunately make them susceptible to erosion and degradation if they're not managed properly. It is important to note that one of the most essential things you can do to manage your soils is to walk over your property and check for signs of erosion. Bare soil, washouts, sediment deposits and muddy runoff. Get out when it's raining to see exactly where water collects and where it flows as these areas can be vital in understanding erosion. Once you see signs of erosion, act on it quickly. Failure to take action early can result in a much larger issue that can require specialist input and significant financial outlay. Prevention is definitely better and cheaper than cure. Gully erosion. Often likened to a scar on the surface of the earth caused by running water eroding our fragile soils to form channels. It can carve out deeper water courses that can spread rapidly up drainage lines. Active gullies can threaten roads, fences, buildings and restrict land use and access. For small gully heads less than half a metre deep, using rock in conjunction with soil and vegetation is a natural low cost way of stabilising them. Let us demonstrate. With a shovel and crowbar, trim the edges off the gully head into a bowl shape. Use a shovel to roughly take off any overhanging soil. Remove enough soil from the base of the gully to allow for your rock. Make sure it is deep enough for your largest rock to sit flush with the surface. Topsoil should be spread prior to the placement of your geofabric. Geofabric is a material used to control erosion that can be purchased from your local hardware store or revegetation supplier. Place the geofabric over the head cut, ensuring there is plenty of overhang. Start laying clean, angular rock over the geofabric. Use rock no larger than 400 millimetres diameter to do this, or rock that you can safely handle. Begin at the bottom of the structure, placing the large rock and work your way up the sides as this helps key the rocks together. Place smaller rock into the open spaces or voids of the larger rock. Make sure the rock isn't placed above the surface level of the gully head and ensure that the upper surface of the rock blends in with the surrounding land. Make sure that the rock is properly embedded at the base to prevent it from being washed away. Any protruding geofabric will need to be trimmed. Place any leftover topsoil into the voids or gaps in the rocks. This helps lock in the rocks to stabilise the rock chute. To ensure success of the gully stabilisation works, it's important to establish good vegetation cover around the edge of the rockwork, the gully bed and gully banks. Check the structure regularly to ensure there isn't any rock washing away. If rock is washing away, the rock sizes used may be too small and larger sizes may be required. For gully heads more than half a metre deep, design advice will need to be sought. We trust you've enjoyed this video and here's hoping that it helps you manage your rural property. For further information about the issues we have covered today, visit the Up To Us Landcare office and have a chat with one of their friendly team members. Be sure to look out for our other videos on YouTube and the Up To Us Facebook page. Thanks for watching and don't forget to kiss the dirt and bye for now. This project is supported by the Up To Us Landcare Alliance and the Goulburn Broken CMA's Beyond Soil Care program through funding from the Australian Government's National Landcare Program. This has been another Ram Films production.